Thank you, Jack. Well, the city of the village is taking yet another step to avoid taking its detainees to the Oklahoma County Jail. Been looking for a new location since Midwest City ended its jail services agreement with them in July. Fox 25's David Chasanoff joins us live from City Hall. So, David, where will they be going if not the county jail? Adam and Wendy, the city of the village says it wants to take its detainees to the city of Yukon. The vice mayor says this will be a beneficial deal. We don't have the worry of them dying while they're there. The village city council members unanimously agreed to a deal that would require the city to pay Yukon $42 a day per inmate for its jail services. Yukon city leaders still have to sign off on this, but Cummings gave a preview of what this plan would look like. So it's our job to take them to the hospital or anything else they need in the meantime. But once they hand them over to UConn, it's theirs, and then we pay them basically like rent per day. UConn Deputy Police Chief John Brown tells Fox 25 the jail at his police department can house inmates for up to 10 days before their scheduled release. Cummings says UConn will be a helpful partner, regardless of the distance between the two cities. We don't have a jail here we can hold people in. We have two little cells. And we looked at, you know, retrofitting those and what they would cost and everything else. Um, this is obviously easier for us. Cummings claims this would be a much better option than the Oklahoma County Jail. Kind of sad. <laughs> um, what we would look for out of OCDC uh, is if they could just pass a health inspection. They've failed health inspections, not just by a little. While this deal is not official just yet, Yukon Deputy Police Chief John Brown says his department is committed to working together with the village to uphold the safe and secure housing of inmates. It's a future coming, says he's looking forward to. If you spend a little time down at the jail, you'll see why we're doing it. Now again, UConn still has to sign off on this. They do have a city council meeting tomorrow night, though I don't see this topic on that agenda just yet. Reporting live in the village, David Chasanoff, Fox 25 News.